But take take um, ex uh, the example of, of TikTok, right? When you first told me about TikTok, I was just like, oh, no, that's silly. Like, I shouldn't do that. Why? Why shouldn't I do that? Yeah. What, why, why not? Why not? And until I've tried it and I know, why not? You know, there's, exactly. there's no why not. You've you got to try it, you know? And, and I, I tried it twice and then now it's worked. You know, and then sometimes there's other things like, okay, Instagram reels, you were trying to get me to do that. And I was just like, oh, this is silly. Like, why would anyone do this? I tried it. It didn't really work, but at least I tried it. At least yeah. I learned like, okay, maybe TikTok is the better thing for this. You know, Instagram reels only kind of really works for like dancers or whatever. You know, I've, I mean? I've found the least... complete, for, for me though, it, it depends on the person because I found the complete opposite. My, oh, okay. My TikTok is dead like it like it just doesn't like uh no one sees it and anything it just doesn't work i don't know if i'm shadow banned or something like that but no, instagram reels for me instagram reels for me I, I get thousands on there now thousands of views I'm, I'm somehow getting it i've i've somehow like leveled up into the system where i'm actually getting put in front of other people outside of my followers i, I don't know how as well i was gonna say it seems to be anytime it's a if it's a video of me punching and kicking the the punching bag, I it goes through. But anything else, like if I'm doing like weightlifting or or you know just kicking the air or just doing like practicing or warming up or something, it doesn't it doesn't get picked up. It's just whenever I'm kicking and punching the bag, that's when it goes through. It's really strange, really really strange. I think for TikTok, this is what I've noticed. It's all about two things. One, how you use your hashtags, yeah. very specific hashtags you got to use. Two, and more importantly, relatability. Yeah. So with what you do, your punching and kicking ones, they're interesting for, t for a couple of reasons. One, progression. Like, for instance, I, you know, I lightly follow your stuff. Like, I obviously don't follow it all the time because I just don't have the time. But one thing I do notice is that like your kicking and punching has gotten a lot better over the year, over the last year. You can see the progression. Yeah. Even if you dip in and out and you don't watch every single video, you can still see it. People like stories, people like transformations in, in fitness. You know, you know this as well as I do. It's, it's, about, uh, it's about that. And I think that there's a lot of things you could do with it that would work. I think it's just trial and error as always. You yeah. know what I mean? You just got to keep trying different things until something sticks. Like, even me with TikTok, you know, 5,000 followers sounds like a lot, right? I'm still figuring it out. You know, every, I'd say one in every 10 videos probably gets over a thousand. The rest, you know, struggle to get to like 200, you know? Um, so it's, it's all kind of about trial and error and trying to figure out what, like who you are, what, what you have to offer. You know what I mean? Everyone has something to offer, but it's kind of trying about, trying to figure out what is this channel going to be? What is it going to, evolve into and i think that mm. is just the, a process do you know what i mean and you know these things don't happen overnight it takes time like that you'll discover that with with your brand that you have now it's it's a new thing you'll try different things with it some things you won't do again some things you'll replicate you know it, you'll figure it out through time i mean Definitely. just to yeah. jump ahead i know you want to talk about the podcast um, later but i'll just briefly mention it now same thing for me when i started that you know, I had an idea of what it would be and it still is that, but it's changed a lot. Like, for example, when I do my research and I do my questions yeah. in the beginning, I used to use that as like my holy grail. Like I stick to that, like it's the most important thing ever. Uh, now, sometimes I don't even ask questions from there. I just ad lib a lot of it. Mm. And, and that I think comes through the process keep doing it keep doing it you get more confident you get more confident and eventually you kind of find your footing and you know but it's like the whole point of most of our conversation it's always about learning and trying different things and, and going with the flow yeah definitely um i'm i'm so glad i uh, i guess i had a, a an action in sort of pushing you to get onto tiktok i'm so glad i did that because now it's almost like the tables have turned where it's you're you're like almost teaching me so it's it's actually worked out really well for me because now i have like almost like you're mentoring me um you know on how to do things yeah. and you're literally crushing it as well like i i go on there a lot and i see you on there and it's it's amazing to see um admittedly i, I don't like i don't uh with my own stuff i don't like 
try that I, I don't you know you 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 talk you make specific things for that i just set the phone up and and hit the bag mm. and then upload it i just sort of like use it as like a video dump pretty much we, we um, have different goals yeah definitely That's the thing. Yeah. if you if you were taking it seriously like you wanted to wanted it to bang yeah i know i know you would make it happen uh because yeah. you've done it before you've you've had videos that have gone because you know how it works 